how can you regain the passion and drive to serve our Sheikh like we once did? Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Do you remember when you first met your Sheikh? Do you remember what goes on in your heart? <coughs> Do you remember how your spirit was pulled? Do you remember how you want to forget everything except our share? If you remember that, make that part of your remembrance every day. Especially when you are feeling low, remember that. Don't look at others, look at yourself. But at the same time, you know how it is when you first fall in love? You think everything is so beautiful, everything is perfect. So you want to commit. You commit, you get married, then suddenly problems they come. Hmm? Isn't it? Of course. Problems is a part of our life. Those who say, I want to have a marriage without any problems, without any challenges, without, they say, where are you living? Even Hazrat Adam and Hazrat Hawa in paradise. It was not perfect. And believers should not be making this world into a paradise. A believer should look into all these things that are happening and look for the wisdom of why it's happening. And it is an opportunity, a chance, a way for you to come closer to Allah. So now, when all these challenges that is coming, are you going to say, oh, I've lost it, I've lost the passion, or I'm not real anymore? Maybe when we first met our Sheikh, and we say we want to be with you, we want to serve you. And now in that um, promise, challenges may happen. To make us what? To become more sincere in that. Because in the beginning, of course things are going to be beautiful. Of course things are going to be easy. The Sheikh will hook you. You finish your honeymoon period. So now, this is the real mm, test of whether your love, the promise that you made, it is going to be true or not. Everything that is valuable must be tested for it to be true. So sit down and try to understand. What was the passion? What was the drive? How was the passion and the drive before? What were you doing? What were you feeling? And why now you're not doing the same thing? And you're not feeling the same thing. Are you doing the same thing? No. Those who have lost the passion and the drive, hardly I see anyone who has this question, they lost the passion and the drive, is when they are still running. Then they say, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm helping, I'm doing so much, but I don't have the drive anymore. Usually, we see those ones who don't run anymore. And they say, I've lost the passion and the drive. Isn't it? Because those ones now, who are serving, and they're being busy serving, they understand now, Yes, it is good to have the ashk. <coughs> it is good to have the passion and the drive. But when, for whatever reason, the ego or shaitan, the dunya 
or your desires is making the drive and the passion to come down, what is it that you must hold on to? The hizmat, the service, the work that you're doing, that you have to hold on to. You're praying. Sometimes you pray, especially holy nights, mashallah. So much passion, isn't it? So much drive. Then later, when that finishes, that drive and that passion, and you're praying the next day, the next week, the next month, and you don't have that anymore. What do you do? You give up? You hold on to it. Because if you are serving in the way, the one who is the sahib of the passion, he is going to give it to you. Sometimes the shaykh may even take away the passion from you to test you. You're saying that you love the shaykh so much, you have passion so much, you have drive so much like you once did. Sometimes the shaykh will take it from you to see whether you are sincere in that or not. Are you going to start blaming people now? Are you going to start blaming your shaykh? Because now if you have service, you are going to hold on to that. Then you are going to understand. Whatever I feel, whatever is going through me, where there is a lot of passion or no passion at all, there is my duty. It is my obligation. It is my farz to continue working, to continue serving. And they're watching. You're fighting your ego, you're continuing, continuing, continuing. Something will happen, it will drop in your heart, it will open again. Connect yourself, hold on tightly. But so many times we lost our passion and our drive, not because the Sheikh takes it away, but because of the veils that you have put the barricades that you have put between you and your shaykh. Check yourself. Remove those veils. If you are sincere, you will find them. Remove them. You don't know how to remove. Then be with those ones who can help you. Don't be by yourself. The wolves will get you very easy. السلام عليكم